Okay, so we got the guides marked. What tools do we need, Greg? Well, just a few for the wrapping process. First, we need something to cut the thread. So we have some razor blades, uh, some china markers that we've been using all along, mm -hmm. making our marks. Uh, of course, the CRB guide sets, when we got our guide spacing off the back uh, pa of the packaging. Sure. Uh, so you want to make sure you have all your guides and the tip tops yeah. all in line before we uh, actually start wrapping the guides. Uh, we have some um, scissors, uh, thread cutting scissors, oh, yeah. uh, which are real handy. A burnishing tool, uh, which allows you to kind of move the thread around and sure. try to flatten any bumps out of it. We also have two things that are very important, the guide foot adhesive stick and the tip top adhesive stick. Now one, uh, both made by CRB, one is used to actually uh, keep the guides on the rod blank. Um, we use tape for larger guides, uh, and that works fine, but some of the smaller guides, five, six uh, size, and micro guides, it's really hard to get the tape around. That's why we use uh, that kind of adhesive. Sure. And then the tip top, uh, to keep obviously the tip top guide on. So um, one last thing we probably want to mention is the actual guide inspection, right? So couple things to note. The front of the guide, the head of the foot, if you will, is where the thread transitions from the rod blank up the guide foot. Yep. And you want a really good transition, a flat 90 or 45 degree angle. Um, and most rods come with it, but you just want to inspect it and make sure there's not a bump. Sometimes when the coating at yeah. the factory does it, yeah. you get a little, little bead in the front. If you do have that, all you need to do is take a file. And you don't want to kind of scratch it back and forth. Just support the back of the guide with your thumb and gently scrape it down. Do a little at a time, inspect it uh, if you're, you're happy with it, mm -hmm. and then do one final check. Because sometimes when you do that, you get little burrs underneath. So what you do is just run it over your thumbnail. If it scratches your thumbnail, it'll probably scratch the blank. Yeah. Um, but in this case, we're good to go. If not, same process. Uh, couple of runs over a file yep. and you're good to go and that'll really make a nice transition from the rod blank up to the yeah. guide. Foot. It would be tempting to skip that process but you'll have that jump off the rod blank onto there and right. it won't work. Well yeah. as aesthetically it, yeah. it can alter the look that maybe you're not going for yep. but those little uh, burrs can scratch and over time in the life of the rod it'll actually degrade the performance. Sure and possibly damage the rod blank long term. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's a very important step to take. Yep, yep. So, and then the last step is uh, just show you how to use the CRB hand wrapper. Yeah. So um, the way it works, right, the rod blank goes on top, and then you put your guides on there. But I want to show you how to route the thread on here. There's one, two, three hooks that we're going to route the thread into in addition to the tension rod. So you want to take the rod and hook it underneath the hook that's in directly in front of the spool you're using. Mm -hmm. And then you want to thread it through the eye of the retention or the uh, tension rod, like so. Now the tension rod actually, um, as the name implies, gives some tension so you have a tight wrap, but it also allows you to back up the rod if you made an overwrap mistake or oh, something. Oh, I gotcha. So it's tension here, and if I was to reverse it, sure. it just goes back, but keeps yep. uh, the thread nice and tight. Otherwise, you know, uh, devices that don't have that tension rod, if you reverse, the thread comes undone. Yeah. So really neat. Nice. So we have it hooked on the first hook coming off the, the spool, mm -hmm. up through the tension rod eye, and then to the center hook that brings it out to the smooth slider, and now you're ready. Now you What's can use the smooth slider? Right, so as you move uh, from guide to guide, or as you're wrapping a longer guide foot, uh, in order to get the thread rolling next to each other without any gaps, yeah. you want to just kind of nudge this along okay. as you're wrapping, and it just prevents you from having to do, you know, try and manipulate it with your thumb or something like that. Mm -hmm. So a uh, real handy device. But, you know, we have the guides marked up. We have the tools we need, the hand wrapper. Uh, all there's left to actually wrap the guides. Let's do it. All right. Nice.